Hola. Hello. Welcome to our Spanish lesson today. For our lesson today, you'll be needing some paper to write on and a pen or a pencil to write with. So if you don't have those things in front of you now, press pause, go and get them and then press play when you're ready to continue. Today, we'll be learning how to describe hair and eyes using colours. First of all, let's just have a recap of the 12 colours. So if you could just pause the video and number 1 to 12 and press play when you're ready to listen. Right, so you've numbered 1 to 12. Listen to the colour words and all you need to do is to write down the letter of that colour for your answer. So number 1, rosa. Number one, rosa. Which colour is that? Write down its letter. Rosa. Number two, blanco. Blanco. Number three, rojo. Rojo. Number four, Negro. Negro. Number five. Gris. Gris. Number six. Violeta. Violeta. Number seven. Naranja. Naranja. Number eight. Verde. Verde. Number nine. Azul. Azul. Number ten. Amarillo. Amarillo. Number eleven. Multicolor. Multicolor. And number twelve. Marron. Marron. So let's have a look at the answers then. So number one. Rosa was letter G. Number two, Blanco is letter E. Number three, Rojo is letter K. Number four, Negro is letter A. Number five, Gris is letter J. Number six, violeta is letter B. Number seven, naranja is letter F. Number eight, verde is letter H. Number nine, azul is letter I. Number ten, amarillo is letter C. Number 11, multicolor, is letter D. And therefore, number 12, marron, is letter L. How did you get on? Did you remember most of those colours? Because we're going to be using those colours in the rest of the lesson today. Let's start off by learning how to say what colour somebody's hair is. So here are some pictures to help us with our sentences. Escuchad y repetid. Tengo el pelo negro. Tengo el pelo negro. Tengo el pelo azul. Tengo el pelo azul. 
Tengo el pelo rosa. Tengo el pelo rosa. Tengo el pelo verde. Tengo el pelo verde. So here are the sentences that we were saying, and you could probably work out that el pelo is hair, and then we were putting the color on the end because when we describe in Spanish, we have to put the noun first, and then any adjectives come after that noun. Let's just try these four sentences once more. Escuchad y repetid. Tengo el pelo negro. Tengo el pelo azul. Tengo el pelo rosa. Tengo el pelo verde. Can you remember what tengo means? What verb is that? That's right, it means I have. Let's see if we can make sentences using the other colours. What would this sentence be? Tengo el pelo gris. And this one? Tengo el pelo naranja. How about this one? Tengo el pelo violeta. And this one? Tengo el pelo rojo. How about this sentence? Tengo el pelo blanco. And this one? Tengo el pelo amarillo. Now, here are 12 people, each with different colored hair. I'm going to say the sentence and I'd like you to point to the right number. So the first one, tengo el pelo violeta. Tengo el pelo violeta. That's that one, isn't it? Next one. Tengo el pelo naranja. Tengo el pelo naranja. That's right, it was number three. Next one. Tengo el pelo azul. Tengo el pelo azul. Do you know which one it is? It's number eight. Tengo el pelo amarillo. Tengo el pelo amarillo. Do you know which one that is? Number one. Next one. Tengo el pelo negro. Tengo el pelo negro. That is number six. And how about tengo el pelo rosa? Tengo el pelo rosa. Number 11. Tengo el pelo rojo. Tengo el pelo rojo. Number 7. And what about tengo el pelo marrón? Tengo el pelo marrón. That one's number 12. Tengo el pelo gris. Tengo el pelo gris. Have you got it? It's number nine. What about tengo el pelo verde? Tengo el pelo verde. That's right, number four. Tengo el pelo multicolor. Tengo el pelo multicolor. 
That's right, that one's number five. And there's one left. Tengo el pelo blanco. Tengo el pelo blanco. That's right, and that one is number 10. Now, let's move on to describing something different. So this time we're not describing hair, we are describing un ojo. Un ojo, what do you think that is? That's right, it's one eye or an eye. So it's still singular, isn't it? And you can see we're still going to be putting our colours in the same place. Let's have a try of these sentences. Escuchad y repetid. Tengo un ojo azul. Tengo un ojo azul. Tengo un ojo negro. Tengo un ojo negro. Tengo un ojo rojo. Tengo un ojo rojo. Tengo un ojo verde. Tengo un ojo verde. So here are the four sentences that we were just saying. So tengo, can you remember what that means? That's right, I have un ojo, either one eye or an eye. And then again, the description comes on the end. And all we've done really in this sentence is replace el pelo with un ojo. Why if we swapped the el in el pelo for un, do you think? That's right. El means the, so we went from talking about the hair to un ojo, which is an eye or one eye. The determiners, if they were swapped around, wouldn't make sense. Let's just practice these sentences again. Escuchad y repetid. Tengo un ojo azul. Tengo un ojo negro. Tengo un ojo rojo. Tengo un ojo verde. Have you noticed, by the way, that to help you out, the word ojo looks like two eyes and a nose? Let's see if we can put in the other colours. So what would this sentence be? Tengo un ojo violeta. And what about this one? Tengo un ojo marrón. This sentence? Tengo un ojo multicolor. And this one? Tengo un ojo naranja. What about this sentence? Tengo un ojo blanco. How about this sentence? Tengo un ojo rosa. And this one? Tengo un ojo amarillo. Now, usually, when you're describing yourself or if you're describing someone else, they don't have just one eye, they have two eyes. So let's have a look at some sentences where we are describing both eyes, the eyes. So we still have tengo for I have. We have los ojos for the eyes. So we've added S's on the end to make it plural. Let's see what happens then with our colours. Escuchad y repetid. Tengo los ojos negros. Tengo los ojos negros. Tengo los ojos rojos. Tengo los ojos rojos. 
Tengo los ojos azules. Tengo los ojos azules. Tengo los ojos grises. Tengo los ojos grises. Did you hear what happened to those color adjectives? Let's have a look at the sentences. So we had tengo los ojos negros, tengo los ojos rojos, tengo los ojos azules, and tengo los ojos grises. And what's happened to those adjectives there? That's right, they've all been made plural, haven't they? Why do you think that is? Exactly, because they're describing both eyes. So if you've got plural eyes, you need plural adjectives as well. So what's happened to the first two, negro and rojo? That's right, they just have an S on the end, don't they? Because they end with a vowel. So all you have to do is put an S on the end. How about azul and gris? How are they made plural? That's right, they need ES on the end because they end with a consonant, L for azul and S for gris. So we need to put ES on the end to make azules and grises. So remember, if your adjective ends with a vowel, put an S on. If your adjective ends with a consonant, put ES on. Let's just run through those sentences again. Escuchad y repetid. Tengo los ojos negros. Tengo los ojos rojos. Tengo los ojos azules. Tengo los ojos grises. Let's try with the other colors again. What would this sentence be? That's right. Tengo los ojos violetas. And this one? Tengo los ojos marrones. How about this one? Tengo los ojos multicolores. And this one? Tengo los ojos naranjas. How about this sentence? Tengo los ojos blancos. And this one? Tengo los ojos rosas. What about this sentence? Tengo los ojos amarillos. Now, here we have 12 people, all with different colored eyes. So like we did before, listen to the sentence and see if you can point to the correct picture. Here we go. First one, tengo los ojos azules. Tengo los ojos azules. That's right, it's number nine. The next one, tengo los ojos naranjas. Tengo los ojos naranjas. Number 12. The next one, tengo los ojos blancos. Tengo los ojos blancos. That's number three. How about Tengo los ojos violetas. Tengo los ojos violetas. That's number six. And what about tengo los ojos grises? Tengo los ojos grises. That's right, it's number four. And tengo los ojos rojos. Tengo los ojos rojos. 
That's right, it's number seven. How about tengo los ojos marrones? Tengo los ojos marrones. It's number two. And can you find tengo los ojos verdes? Tengo los ojos verdes. That's right, it's number eight. And can you find tengo los ojos negros? Tengo los ojos negros. It's number ten. And the next one. Tengo los ojos multicolores. Tengo los ojos multicolores. Number one. What about tengo los ojos amarillos? Tengo los ojos amarillos. That's right, it's number five. And the last one, tengo los ojos rosas. Tengo los ojos rosas. It's number 11. Well done. Now, all of these people have different colored hair and different colored eyes. So let's see if we can do some sentences that have a hair description and an eyes description. And of course, they're all going to still have tengo in front of them and they're going to have an e to join together the hair description and the eyes description. So see if you can tell me which number this is. Tengo el pelo amarillo y los ojos verdes. Tengo el pelo amarillo y los ojos verdes. Which number is that, do you think? That's right, that was number 11. El pelo amarillo, los ojos verdes. Try this one. Tengo el pelo azul y los ojos marrones. Tengo el pelo azul y los ojos marrones. Do you know which number that is? That's right, it's number seven. El pelo azul y los ojos marrones. Let's try another one. Tengo el pelo rojo y los ojos verdes. Tengo el pelo rojo y los ojos verdes. Which number is that? That's right, it is number four. El pelo rojo and los ojos verdes. Try this one. Tengo el pelo multicolor y los ojos amarillos. Tengo el pelo multicolor y los ojos amarillos. So which one was that? That's it. It was number two. El pelo multicolor, los ojos amarillos. And let's try one more. Tengo el pelo negro y los ojos naranjas. Tengo el pelo negro y los ojos naranjas. Have you spotted which person that is? That's right, it's number eight, el pelo negro, los ojos naranjas. So that's how we would put together the description of the hair and the description of the eyes. Now, we've just been practicing hair colour and eye colour using our 12 colours that we already know. However, you'll be disappointed to hear that if we're talking about real people and not cartoon characters, then we can't use yellow, brown and orange just as they are. Because if you say el pelo amarillo and el pelo naranja, that suggests that somebody has dyed their hair and it's a really, really bright colour. But if we want to say that somebody is blonde, or brown haired or ginger haired, we have to use different colours. So if you want to say that somebody is blonde, 
you would have to say el pelo rubio. El pelo rubio. Then if somebody has brown hair, you say el pelo castaño. El pelo castaño. And if they have ginger hair, el pelo pelirrojo. El pelo pelirrojo. Now, to help you remember which is which, castaño is the word for chestnut. And if you think of a conker or a chestnut, they're really dark brown. And that is remembering that colour of hair. So castaño and chestnut both start with a C. They're the same colour and they make us think of brown hair. Then pelirrojo has rojo, red, at the end of it. And we also say in English, don't we, that if somebody has ginger hair, that they have red hair. Even though it's not bright pillar box red, we call it red hair. So pelirrojo is ginger hair. And the last one with no clues, unfortunately, is rubio for blonde. Let's try saying those again. Escuchad y repetid. El pelo rubio. El pelo rubio. El pelo castaño. El pelo castaño. El pelo pelirrojo. El pelo pelirrojo. And one more time. Escuchad y repetid. El pelo rubio. El pelo castaño. El pelo pelirrojo. Let's do some listening using those three colours and some of our more ordinary eye colours. There's 12 people here. There are four different hair colours and there are three different eye colours. So I'm going to describe somebody's hair and somebody's eyes. See if you can work out which person it is. Tengo el pelo pelirrojo y los ojos verdes. Tengo el pelo pelirrojo y los ojos verdes. Have you worked out who that is? That's right, it is Celia. Here she is, there's Celia. El pelo pelirrojo, red hair, y los ojos verdes and green eyes. Listen for somebody else now. Tengo el pelo negro y los ojos azules. Tengo el pelo negro y los ojos azules. So who's being described there? Tengo el pelo negro y los ojos azules. That's right, it's Emma. As Emma has el pelo negro, black hair, y los ojos azules, blue eyes. Let's see, who shall we try next? Let's try, tengo el pelo castaño y los ojos marrones. Who's that one? Tengo el pelo castaño y los ojos marrones. Have you worked out who it is? It's Alba. Tengo el pelo castaño, so brown hair, y los ojos marrones, and brown eyes. Let's try one more person. See if you can work out who this is. Tengo el pelo rubio y los ojos azules. Tengo el pelo rubio y los ojos azules. So who's that? Do you think you've worked it out? It is Iker. So he has el pelo rubio, blonde hair, y los ojos azules and blue eyes. Good listening. Now here we have a sentence builder which is going to help us to build sentences describing our own hair and our own eyes. So we're going to start off on the left hand side with tengo for I have. 
Then, if you're describing your hair, you follow the arrow to el pelo, which comes next. And we've seen that all the colours need to come after el pelo. So you have castaño, rubio and pelirrojo on the first column and all of the other colours in the other columns. If you're describing eyes, you would start with tengo, then follow the arrows to los ojos. And then you have the colours again, but this time they're the colours when suited to eye colour. So marrones, verdes, azules, with the S's or the ES's already on the end. Of course, you could do, like we did in the examples just now, say tengo el pelo and the colour and then put E for and and then los ojos and then the colour. So pause the video and have a go at writing the sentence or sentences that apply to you and your hair colour and your eye colour and then press play when you're ready to continue. So have you written the sentence that applies to your hair colour and your eye colour that you can add to your personal description? Muy bien. Hasta luego.